Hello everyone, this is Imran Emu from wpbrim.com. Welcome to WordPress tutorial for beginners step by step course. In this video, I will talk about how to install WordPress in cPanel. Ok, I will do the work with uh, this following processes. First of all, I will download WordPress zip file from wordpress.org slash download link. Then I will access to my WordPress website cpanel through browser address bar and then create database in the cpanel also create an user and add the user to database and finally i will install the wordpress and add some code so i'm going to open up my browser and going to access my website is so first thing first we have to download zip file from this link ok hit on this download wordpress 4.5.3 green button and it will download automatically well the download has been completed successfully i will navigate to the download folder here it is and i will work for the second process logging to, to access cpanel so to have a cpanel you must have a domain name and hosting account if you don't have any domain name or hosting account you can buy any you can consider any of the hosting and domain selling companies for your domain and hosting names once you have purchased any domain and hosting account from any of these companies they will email you the cpanel login username and password and finally suppose your domain name is this imranimo.com then you will add slash cpanel it will redirect to the cpanel login interface here you will insert your username and password I am going to put my username and password and back again. Well, I am back again. I am in the cPanel area of my website. Now, what we will do? Just upload the WordPress zip file. To upload this zip file in our root directory, we will have to go to file manager section, file section. From here, I will click on this file manager it will pop up a link uh, pop up a window uh, we will have to go to the root directory go this is the root directory of our website and we will upload the wordpress zip file here from this upload link and now i am going to browse to the downloads and this file it's going to be uploaded. Well, the upload process is complete. Now go to the file section and reload it. We can see the zip file, but we have to unzip it through extract and extract to the public underscore HTML directory. You have to take care of this extract here. It will unzip it will create a folder called wordpress and in this folder there are several files these files are the required files of wordpress cms i'm going to select all these files and right click on it and move because i need to move these files to the root directory public and html not this wordpress directory so remove this and move files now you can see all the files in the root folder public underscore html now i don't know i don't need this zip file anymore just delete this don't need this empty this folder is empty now because i moved all the files on the tree upper so just select this and from here you can delete it okay 
our third process create a database in the cPanel okay now I'm going to work in the database section here you can see my SQL database from here we'll create database and username database name from here create a database name test db something create data click on this create database button and it has created the database well now what i'm going to do to just save this information in a text file just go here db okay now we need to create a new user okay go back need to create an user from here we will create user test okay generate password and don't forget to save this information here save this box i have copied this password to a secure location use password and now my job is to click here to create a user do not remember username is that username okay i have created a database and a user now what i have to do just add this user to this database at this moment in this cpanel we have only one user and one database but it might have several username and several database we will care about which database is going to be used for which user okay i'm going to click on add link and all privilege without this drop make changes now our fourth process is done now what we have to do just install wordpress to install wordpress we will access our domain name imranimo.com hit enter from first of all we see it asks to choose a language by default i am going to select english united states and hit on continue button it shows us to install wordpress you will need to have these four things we have already done this here and we can click on this button let's go okay database name wordpress not we are going to empty these things and put values from here first of all database names be careful we have to change table prefixes because we don't rely on the default table prefixes we will customize according to our need for this tutorial purpose i'm just going to show some default things just put some text so that the hackers cannot guess the table prefixes i'm going to make it harder a bit so this characters will be very secret so the hackers cannot guess this characters so this is the final way to submit our credential i'm going to hit on this button submit it says all right just run the installer 
complete. Now our job is to put some site oriented information like site title. I am going to write test site username. Never use any silly username like your domain name or admin anything. Just try to put something that the hackers cannot guess like just some crazy things I always suggest then the password is automatically generated it's hard so here you can use your email address I'm not going to share my email address here I'm just going to write test at the rate wp .com. do not click this checkbox if you click this checkbox then the search engine own scroll your site that will be harmful so i'm going to keep these things back up although i'm not use this site anymore just after completing this video i will just delete this site but i'm going to keep it as long as the tutorial is not going to be finished this is the final part install out fresh okay success that means we could successfully install out fresh so it's our time to log in Well, here we will put the username. Our username is I don't know how to is how to pronounce this word. Remember me? Don't like to remember. All done. That is the administrative area of our WordPress site. From here, we can visit our site and see the fresh install site. So, we can make this site look like any professional site using any premium or own made WordPress theme from here. Thus, this is a fresh installation of WordPress. In the next videos, we'll learn about this dashboard and each and everything of this interface step by step. Hope you love this video. Please like this video, comment your opinion of this video and, and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.